Williams is a major transporter of natural gas, operating approximately 15,000 miles of interstate natural gas pipelines. The company transports about 12% of the natural gas consumed in the United States. As the demand for natural gas increases, Williams must periodically expand its existing pipelines or construct new facilities. Williams is committed to selecting facility locations that balance the needs of the customer while minimizing impacts on the community and the environment. One construction method Williams utilizes to minimize such impacts is a procedure known as horizontal directional drilling. Horizontal directional drilling is a form of trenchless technology that allows pipelines to be installed underground while minimizing surface disruption. Directional drilling is an important construction method to minimize impacts to sensitive environmental areas. The concept is easy to explain. From an entry point on one side of the crossing, a steerable drill bit is pushed underground to the exit point on the other side of the sensitive area. The hole is then enlarged with one or more reaming passes until the hole has reached the desired diameter. In the final step, the steel pipe is pulled by the drill rig into the hole and placed safely in the ground. The following animation shows a typical land-to-sea pipeline horizontal directional drilling project. On both sides of the crossing, a limited working area is prepared for the drilling and pipeline installation equipment. On the rig side, a small entry pit with a depth of about 6 feet is installed. Separation equipment, a buffer tank, a mixing unit, pump and power packs, and a pipe skid complete the basic equipment on the rig site. The control cabin, which is used by the operators to control drilling activities, is placed near the entry pit. Now, the pilot hole is ready to be drilled. Pipe connected to a drill bit is pushed forward into the entry pit. One after another, the pipes are connected and pushed under the ground. A mixture of water and bentonite clay is continuously pumped to the drill bit to facilitate the removal of cuttings, stabilize the borehole, cool the cutting head, and lubricate the drill string. The mixture of water and bentonite clay, known as drilling mud, flows back to the entry pit on the surface. From here, the cutting mixture is pumped to the separation equipment and back to the drill bit. Inside the control cabin, the driller carefully controls the exact position of the drill bit. When the drill bit punches through the other side of the crossing, the pilot hole is completed. A set of crossbars is driven into the seabed, and a casing is laid upon the crossbars to provide an enclosure from the drill hole exit to the deck of a jack-up barge. The drill string is pushed from the rig site up the casing and onto a drill rig on the jack-up barge, and the drill bit is disconnected. The pilot hole is enlarged by pulling a larger cutting tool back through the pilot hole. Multiple passes of large diameter cutting tools are required to enlarge the hole to the diameter necessary to pull the pipe through. Once the bore hole reaches the required diameter, the pre-assembled pipe is made buoyant and floated into position near the exit hole. The pipeline is then attached to the cutting tool at the end of the drill string and pulled into the bore hole. The entire pipeline is pulled beneath the seafloor and the beach until it re-emerges in the entry pit at the rig site. Horizontal directional drilling. It's just another way that Williams utilizes advanced technology to construct its pipelines in a safe and environmentally responsible manner.